Hi there, Cancer. Thank you for joining me for your monthly forecast for September. It's true to say that for us all, the Uranus-Pluto clash, which has been going on for some months now, has not been easy. And in general, Pluto, for you, has been transforming the way you relate and interact with people. This has been going on full-time, inverted commas, for about the last three and a half years. Now, Pluto and Uranus are going to going to continue to clash this month, even though Pluto starts to twist backwards mid-month, goes into a retrograde. But at the very start of this month, Pluto forges an absolutely awesome link to Mars. Now, Pluto is a very, very strange influence. Sometimes when we resist change, it forces change upon us just when we're at our most vulnerable and don't want that change. Ultimately, with the passage of time, we see that it's good for us. At other times, Pluto gives us a gift, the gift to make changes ourselves, and therefore to be as proactive as possible. And in the first week of this month, you have an opportunity to do something fundamental, and it can be around a relationship, it can be around a romantic one. Do make a dramatic move if you want something important to come to pass. Now, if it doesn't work out for you, there will be lessons to be learned. You might feel a bit sore to begin with, but you know, at least you can say to yourself, I tried. But then the converse can be true. Something could work out spectacularly well. And with the Sun and Mercury in the part of your horoscope that's governing communications, I do feel that you can find the right choice of words to say things that are important to you. Articulate yourself very well, particularly in week two. The only thing you need to watch there as the Sun and Mercury go exactly side by side, is not to be too hasty to jump to any conclusions. But I think your mind is going to be ultra sharp, brilliant for entering competitions, doing crosswords and quizzes. You're really going to be razor sharp. However, it is true to say that by the middle of this month, we have a new moon. And this new moon is saying to you, however much you are skilled at uh, speaking, writing, it's also important to get in touch and blend this with the things you really feel. And that's not always easy. Nelson Mandela once famously said, the hardest thing about being an individual is to be true to ourselves. And it may sound a little profound, but the fact that this new moon combines with Saturn helps you to be closely in touch with your true, true, true emotional compass. But the thing I will like to tell you about, which can delight you, is this is the last month full time when Saturn's going to be working through what is known as the fourth solar house, where it's been for the last two and a half years. For sure, it's going to come back. But for now, you need to celebrate the fact that you've probably been on quite a journey over the, this period of time. Become much more accustomed to standing up for yourself, being more robust about what you want in terms of your emotional life, respect from others, and I do feel a relationship with a sibling can improve quite considerably on the back of this new moon, perhaps even a relationship with people immediately around you in your neighbourhood. But on the 23rd, the sun does move, and it moves into the same area that Saturn is located in, and Mercury moves into this area too. Now Mercury is actually going to be making a very playful link to Venus. Venus moves into your sector of finances on the 7th, and I do feel there can be a stroke of good fortune this month. The trick is not going to be spending it all at once, and the temptation may be to splash out on a new bit of equipment or a gizmo, particularly in the second half of this month. As the month comes to a close, you may find yourself with a bit of a work-life balance issue, but then for most of us, in these crazily busy times, even though we have all these aids, that's nothing of a surprise, but something may need your immediate attention at that time. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now. Hello, if you'd like a live astrology, psychic or tarot reading on a one-to-one -one basis, why not link with the people beneath this video? Put this link in your browser and this is my team of psychics. Your live reading starts at a very competitive rate. And also, if you do have a reading and you're just not totally happy with it, we'll give you your money back. You can't really say fairer than that. Thank you.